Yes, so first of all, obviously an amazing win. Um, I mean, it was a great team effort. I mean, I think today was really, since day one, what we've talked about as far as our defensive intensity and just kind of our focus on defense today was just kind of like, I mean, to hold them to 43 points and, you know, it was it was huge. It was huge. And, and um, keys to our game were obviously, you know, not get out rebounding. We did, but it wasn't as bad as the last game we played against them. And, you know, and we got to the line more than them. So that these were the two main keys, you know, um, to winning today's game. And I thought we overall did a great job. So here's the question. How do you get from taking this team that's had struggles in the past, building that up, and starting with an 0-7 start, to getting to a point where not only do you finish 500, but get a home game and then win a game at home in the tournament? How do you get from that point to this one? I mean, it's a credit to these young ladies. I mean, you know, we started 0-7, and, and I haven't told them it, but it was probably the se it took them seven games to really understand me, what I was saying in practice, so that's probably what it was. <laughs> I'll take the blame for that. You know, but, you know, even in those seven losses that we had, a lot of them, you know, a couple of them we should have won. We didn't, didn't go away, but we certainly just kept learning from those experiences, you know, the good and bad ones. There's always something to learn from, right, the good and, and, and bad. And, 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 and we just kept getting better. And, and, but it's a credit to, you know, to our team and those girls because they really believed. They believed in what we were doing and they, saw, they, they were able to see it. So that we were so close. And once we got that first win and just kind of like, okay, this is, the, this is what it looks like. And you know, who doesn't like winning? So um, all of a sudden our practices were better and more competitive and things like that, so. Laura, this one's for you. You and I have had some conversations over the years. I've seen you since <clears throat> freshman year. What is it like for you? Because your, your first three years, they, they were a bit of a struggle. You started, you come off the bench, and it was trying to find your way. It seemed like the second half of this season, you got more vocal. You got more assertive. And it seemed like against Mount St. Mary's, you just went ballistic. What has it been like for you from your freshman year to now finally getting to this point? Yeah, it's definitely been a process, I think. Um, I think that one of the biggest parts this year uh, that I can um, attest my, my growth to would be the talks that I've had with Coach Ange just about, like she said, like the little things that matter. Something like confidence in myself, confidence in my teammates, my teammates having my back, you know, communication, having a positive attitude, those kind of things go such a long way. Um, and whenever I wasn't playing as well in the beginning of the season, we just kept pushing through, trusting the process. I knew that, you know, if I wasn't scoring, I could get assists. If I wasn't getting assists, I was definitely going to get rebounds or doing something. And I think that once you work on a whole bunch of little things, you know, throughout the stretch, by the end, I think everything starts to come together. And that definitely happened for us at Mount St. Mary's. I feel like I was unconscious that game. Yeah. Rachel, you know, last year, I think we were averaging six, seven minutes. Sort of like finding your way, and all of a sudden you're averaging 25, 30, 35 minutes a game, and it seemed like you, when you were in the game, you facilitated so, so well. How do you go from you know being someone who came off the bench to being a starter, plugged in and facilitating an offense, and then not only that, but somehow you know rebounding five, six, seven times a game out of nowhere? Here comes Rachel Miles with another rebound. Um, I think it had a lot to do again with the talks I also have with coach. Um, coach consistently pushed me in practice on a daily basis and never let me settle. So whenever I was out of it or was having an off day, she never allowed me to do that. So she never let me get in my head. She always said like she always had high expectations for me. Um, and I think that really helped me grow um, and just do the little things. So like even when it's chasing down the rebound, like and she always says like it doesn't matter how short you are, it's the effort you put in. And I think that's what really helped me grow this season. You know, coach, I one last one. Mount St. Mary's, and now today, and obviously you're seeing practice what we don't see, but not only that, her ability to have an impact on the game, especially after Rachel picks up her second foul in the first half, she now has to pick up, I guess, the bulk of the load at the point guards. How does how does that happen? I mean, you know, for her to really pick it up at the end of the season, to ask for that for a player who really hadn't seen a lot of time mm -hmm. in the first three quarters. The thing about Maddie is I probably should have played her a lot more earlier in the season, so 
that goes my first year coaching, right? You learn through your mistakes. Um, but the one thing about Maddie is, you know, she always goes hard. So I always knew that, I mean, it, it really didn't matter if she was on our, you know, A team or B team in practice, she's always gone hard. And, and so, and then when she was given that opportunity, you know, in that, you know, for that, that game that she started playing, you know, she took it. She took it, and then from that point on, she you know earned even more trust. And and now it's, it's she's you know one of our toughest players. And I can't you know unless she's in foul trouble, I don't want to take her off the court um, because I think she's just doing so many little things that do not show up in the stat sheet. Um, and I think that you know th that's something that's definitely needed. I got one more. Question. Um, there was when we look at the injuries you guys have had this season. You know, Jenna hasn't played. Sure, you guys have dealt with a lot of, especially with upperclassmen. And yet somehow you have Maria, you have Celia, you have Anaya Bell, you have a bunch of freshmen and sophomores making not just contributions, but big contributions at the end of games. That's little things, but now you're asking Sierra D'Angelo having double figures five, six times a season. That doesn't happen by accident. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's well, it doesn't happen, but I mean, it, it's, it's, they work hard, you know, they work hard, they're great kids, and, and sometimes it's just like, ah, oh, can I play 10 of them, you know, because, uh, you know, but I think that shows to the strength of our team, you know, sometimes it's, with, sometimes with the team being so young, I mean, I mean, there was a big chunk of the season when, you know, Lauren was our only upperclassman, everybody else, we have five seniors, and, and you know, Madison Stanley being a junior, you know, five out of six were out and Lauren was our only playing senior. Everybody else was freshman and sophomore, so gray hair. Um, but, you know, so then there were games where we looked good and then there were games where practice was like, oh my gosh, like we're not getting it. But then, you know, just have to trust the process. So, um, but they all have something, you know, they're all, first of all, they're all, I mean, I've, I'm lucky. So, cause, cause I came into this team and, uh, you know, and, it, it, you know, they're eager to learn. Um, yeah, they make mistakes, but everyone makes mistakes, right? Um, and you know, and they just continue to work hard and get better. And so, if it's not Maria, then you know, it's some like today's here. I gave us, you know, she played what five minutes, and she had, you know, she went to the line five times and had five rebounds, you know, in five minutes, and you know, really not playing at all, you know, prior to that. So, everyone is always, you know, able to give us something. Hopefully, that will continue, right? He takes all my questions. This is why we talk for <laughs> He takes everything with all my comments. But to the two young ladies, what did it feel like though playing the home game tonight? You know, because one of the things I mentioned in, in the pregame remarks is the fact you have so many young people in this, you know, were they gonna be like the deer in headlights or was the situation gonna be just so big for them or and but they seem to absorb it so well and like how did you deal with it, you know? And yeah, how did you right. deal with, you know, tonight, a home game? Yeah, I mean, this was obviously so exciting, especially for me being a senior. And, you know, we lost first round every single year in playoffs. So that was really tough for me the last three years. So obviously, we're so excited to have a home game. But coming out, I think all of us had the expectation that, you know, we had to come come out hard, come out strong. But it is just another game. You know, I think that by able being able to trust in that and just feel like, you know, we've played at home, we've won at home. You know, we've beat good teams. You know, we just have to trust in the process. And obviously, our younger players, they came out and they really helped us today. Um, I think just understanding how much we worked for that home game allowed us to kind of rise to the challenge and just be like, OK, so we've done this. We made it here. So now it's time to perform. So we just took that opportunity and we came out with a W. Well, first, I'd like to, you know, congratulate Ange and, you know, Fairleigh Dickinson. Um, great game today, and it's been a great season for them. So, you know, super proud of their effort and, um, you know, what they've done this year. As far as we're concerned, you know, a uh, little story of what's transpired all year where we go gaps of time without scoring. First half, we were okay. In the second half, we just, you know, came up empty and couldn't generate offense, which is always a difficult thing for us. Um, and Fairleigh Dickinson did a great job of exposing uh, different matchups. Um, which it was hard for us to, um, you know, kind of overcome. When you can't score and there's a lead, it's hard to get back in the game. So um, we struggled with that. And the success we had with them um, earlier in the year in the first two games, we did a great job of keeping them off the boards. Um, we didn't do a great job of that today. So um, unfortunately, not the, you know, effort we were looking for or the results, um, but it doesn't negate. You know, I thought we, we had a, a very a good year and we had to overcome some things like Sydney Holloway being hurt and a very tough non-conference schedule. So we walk away being somewhat pleased with, you know, finishing sixth in the regular season. But this wasn't the results we were looking for today. But you have to be so proud of the efforts of Sydney Holloway. I mean, she was just a joy to watch on the floor every time.
Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if everyone really knows the story, but, you know, last year at this time she had to have a major surgery. They had to put a rod in her shin, and she was out for five months. She comes back in September, nowhere near where she was accustomed to being. To get herself back and to finish as one of the top ten players in the league, I don't know of anyone that would come back and be able to be even a basketball player, never mind put up the numbers that she did this year. So that's a lot to say for her, you know, her work ethic and her toughness and her commitment to the program. Um, and, you know, to finish out a career, even though this probably wasn't her best night, you still saw her effort and her tenacity in the way she plays. So I was very fortunate to have her as a coach and all the things that she brought to the program. Yeah, she's a hustler and, yep, she had a great year.